this, isn't this spectacular? A massive herd of elephants have just come down towards Buffelshook Dam. Um, I counted 35, and there's still more rolling out of the bush. Having a quick drink. It doesn't look like they're going to hang around for too long. Some of them just stopping for a quick drink. Oh, magic, magic, magic. right up towards us now behind us there Craig hello big girl I think we are about to be completely surrounded by elephants this is just insane I'm just above these ellies I mean look here I'm sitting around there I've got elephants to the left of me elephants to the right tiny little baby running over there tiny baby behind us hi guys it's okay. It's okay, big girl. It's okay. It's okay. Don't come too close. So, guys, we can't move now. I'm just going to have to keep quiet as well. Very, very, very close to this tiny baby. So it's very important to stay very calm in these situations. So if we move the car or make the wrong noise, the elephants can get upset. Fortunately for us, they didn't. They say it's very important to stay calm when there's a female and that smaller baby next to you. Okay, wow. So close to us. There's quite a few very young babies in this herd. <sighs> okay, now that they've moved past us, Craig, I think I'm gonna actually no, we're good, yeah. There's a really little a small one being quite cute just there, shaking his head, having a drink from mom. Seat is wondering how far do African elephants travel from their birthplace? Well, it's all very dependent on a little one uh, on whether they're male or female. Uh, females have home ranges that can extend as far as 100 kilometers in certain parts of Africa. Uh, males have much larger home ranges, so they can do up to 200 kilometers from uh, their sort of nasal range, but normally not not nearly that far. Another big girl coming up behind us. Oh, engaging low range four wheel drive. <laughs> no, don't get cheeky with me because you are slipping. Okay, again, we've got some elephants very close to us. We just need to keep very quiet, very still while she passes us. Okay, she's gone past us, behind us. <coughs> Grumpy. That's a weaning sound. That's that young sub adult trying to get milk. But we're just going to listen and immerse ourselves in the elephants for a while.
just amazing to listen to all the sounds of the Indies. Free Pan would like to know, is Fang in this herd? No, this is not Fang's herd. Lots of little ones everywhere. There's about five or six very little elephants in this herd. Oh, bullying. Don't be a bully. Don't be a bully. Well, it's more playing than bullying. If it gets too serious, the mom of the little one will sort it out. To stick on the little ones. There's more playing going on. It's a little bit rough for that tiny little one, but mom won't be far away. Here we go. Yes, get away from that bully. Oh, what an amazing, amazing sighting of all these ellies. I'm trying to count, they're probably close to 40 in this herd. Oh, there we go. That little one got into trouble for bullying. Alicia is wondering, do elephants get sunburned? No, they don't. That dark skin and thick skin uh, is quite sun resistant. These elephants look like they've come quite a long way to get their drink, so there's not too much water around here. It is just so peaceful spending time with these big herds. There seems to be a bit of a calm now, after the initial rush down to the water. Listen to that. So that is that same young elephant that's walking off there begging for milk. Now it's getting to the stage at the age where it's going to get weaned. So that sort of frustration is that you'll probably find that the female has stopped producing as much milk as she used to. And uh, that young one is getting quite frustrated and complaining much better. Oh, it looks like we might get another elephant walk by very close to us. As the herds decided, some of them have decided to come back this way. Uh, there's a female coming towards us with a very small baby. Hi, big girl. I say it's always very important when you are this close to elephants. Is that everyone thinks you need to drive away or whatnot, but the most important thing is to just keep still. We could excite them by trying to move the car at this junction in time. Hi guys, it's okay. Here you go, having a little drink. You can hear a lot of elephant flatulence this morning. largest land mammal in the world. Can you hear the low rumbling communications all around us?
Christopher is wondering if this is a mix of herds or one very large one. Uh, I think it's a mix of two, two different family groups, Christopher. Uh, and it looks like some are moving towards us and away and the others are moving uh, down into the thickets to the left. But uh, it is quite difficult to say. They could, it could be just a very large herd. Oh, Veronica is asking, what is the largest herd I've ever seen? Well, Veronica, it's, it's more of the largest congregation, which will be made up of multiple uh, breeding, breeding herds and little family groups. And uh, the largest congregation I've seen is close on a thousand. Oh, argument at the back. That one with her trunk up was, oh, it is Fang. I didn't even see Fang. Where did you come from? She must have just popped out from the bushes there. Hello, Fang. I think it's Fang. Hello, Fang. Well, it's been about a year, maybe a bit longer. So then this is, Fang's herd is a, is a particularly big herd, so I, they'd say it is one herd. There we go. That's wonderful. Catching up with an old friend. Craig is wondering which one is the boss of this herd. That would be Fang, uh, that female with very distinct backward tusks. She's unfortunately just behind another elephant now, but we should get a view of her shortly. Look, is it playing in the sand? You can hear it. I'm going to keep quiet. doing is loosening the sand to get some to blow on himself and there we are you can see fangs backward facing tusk very clearly now and there's the boss of the herd what oh, this is amazing As I say, I'm not going to move anywhere. I'm just absolutely thoroughly enjoying being surrounded by elephants. So while we continue to stay here, let's go across to Steve, who's looking for more birds. Well, there's still a few elephants down next to the water. Most of them have started moving away and uh, starting to feed in the bushes around us. Martini is wondering, is this a local herd or they're just passing through the area? Um, well, they pass through, they are a local herd, but their, their herd does extend, uh, their, their home range does extend beyond Juma. But yes, they are a local herd that we do see quite often. Oh, hang on, someone's trying to sneak up on me. Hey, turn around. Oh, there you are. Hello, little one. Yeah, you're so scary. Emily is wondering, what is the age range of a sub-adult? Well, it's basically teenage years, Emily. <laughs> like this little one making all the noise and nonsense walking past us now. Yeah, you, you're a sub-adult. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, sort of the, the teenage years are what we consider a sub-adult. Uh, because elephants have a very sort of similar length lifespan uh, to human beings. Oh, there we go. We're going to have some playing. Let's push each other around. Let's hold each other's trunks. So, teenagers. Being teenagers. I mean, literally, for three or almost 360 degrees, uh, there are elephants around us, but a lot of them have now moved into the trees and are starting to feed. There are what, five or six left here around the edge of the dam and on the dam wall. Or seven, actually. No? Seven, yes. Seven elephants left. And quite a few young boys. There are some adult females in, in the back. 
Oh, more elephants coming in. They could be from a different family group. So we might see a little bit of a greeting ceremony happening. It's happening behind the other Indies. But I'd say they're a member of this herd. I recognize that female got separated. And it just looks like she's after that initial. Mm -hmm. um, she's just joined in. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oof. That little one there off to the right, that's the one that was making the noise. Now you look like cheeky. Oh, look at the one swimming. One's decided to go right into the water, have a proper swim. Oh, <laughs> now let's see if. One, one swimming will prompt some of the other young, young bulls to come into the water. Oh, there we go. We could be in for some fun in games here. Yeah. Alicia says, when they play, do the sub-adults pull ears and teeth? ears and tails. Well, normally it's more like this uh, trunk wrestling, pushing each other a little bit. Uh, sometimes it can get a little bit aggressive, but normally it's 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 quite gentle. The young boys, as they, they get to 14, 15, can start to play, as they start playing a little bit more aggressively, as teenage boys will. But look at that, isn't that sweet? Oh! Flop, flop. Look at that. Now, it's often what happens with elephants is when one or two start swimming, it can prompt all the other teenage boys uh, to also start swimming. And it's quite warm already this morning, so an early morning dip. I'm sure the water is nice and cool. But you'll find elephant bulls will swim a lot more readily than females. There we go, see number three and four coming into the fray. Not wanting to miss out on all the fun. Isn't that cute? Oh, climb it. Let's climb on him. All just playing and having a great time. <laughs> it's a tangle of elephants in the water. sticking out. Oh, so much fun. I'm going to move the vehicle a little bit so we can not get the bull bar in the way. Well, while we just get ourselves into a good position, Steve's got a fluffy antelope. Well, they are indeed very happy elephants. It has turned into an absolute 
pool party, even one of the big adult females decided to go for a swim. And as I said, it, that's a bit more unusual. Normally, it's the, the young boys that like swimming. But, oh, look at them. Having the best time. So... Daisy Bee is wondering if there are any hippos. There's a hippo. He's trying to stay out of the elephant's way while they cavort about. And this is proper cavorting. So that's a little group of young bulls. And then off to the right, almost completely submerged, is the adult female. And then, there she is. And I'd say it's unusual. And she was the one who arrived quite late. And she's decided, no, it's hot. The boys look like they're having all the fun, so I'm going to do the same. And now that it looks like a little one. Oh, sounds like Taylor just got a kill. Well, look at that, Fang has just, oh, Fang has decided to join the swim. And she looks like she's having the most amazing time. As soon as she came in, a lot of the other elephants came around to join her. They chased the hippo a little bit. Hippo is looking very off, out of sorts. All these elephants splashing and making huge noise in its little water hole. This is very, very special. And they've been swimming for a long time now. There's a trumpet underwater. Yeah. You can sound a little bit different when trumpeting under the water. It's just too, too wonderful. Oh, there's Fang looks like she's had enough now. She might be getting out. And now it's gonna be interesting to see that once she leaves, whether the others will leave as well. And the little boys might continue on for a bit. There's another underwater trumpet. Okay, let's just go to these Ellie's in front of us. Bit of a here we go. Bit of greeting, talking, trumpeting. The little boys, all the teenagers on the other hand, are still in a little, basically, scrum of elephants in the water. Splashing and splashing. Lauren is wondering, when will a baby elephant take its first swim? Well, I've seen very young babies of two or three weeks in little shallow pans, but uh, in these bigger, deeper bits of water, uh, probably when they're a good couple of years old, maybe four or five. Um, and it also depends on what's around and how comfortable the adults are. So a little elephant's normally only going to swim if it's mom swimming, whether it's these teenagers, as you can see, they just love it. And just piling in. They don't want to get out, even though the adults have decided it's time to get out and move. Tori's wondering when will elephant bulls start going into must. So, pretty much uh, when they're between 12 and <laughs> 12 and 14 uh, is when they'll get their first must. But they will be unable to breed till they're about 30. So your big dominant bulls will come into must when the most females are in estrus. Oh, 
seems like swim time's over. And uh, I think one might try to push the others back in. Oh, so, oh whoopsie! <laughs> oh, sorry, Tori. Um, I got sidetracked by the elephants. And uh, so your big dominant bulls will be when most females are in estrus. And, uh, and your younger bulls will be when uh, the least females are in estrus. And their, their must cycles will change throughout their life. And also the must cycles depend on area and, and rainfall and all sorts of things. Now, they thought they were getting out. They decided, no, it's too much fun. Lakeisha is wondering, do elephants ever drown? Uh, unlikely in this part of the world, but yes, um, flooding rivers, uh, if they try to cross them, there are records of elephants drowning. Uh, also in very big rivers like the Zambezi, uh, the Rivumu, the Rafiji, uh, but it does not happen very, very often. Just, just having the best time. <laughs> Come on, give us some more underwater trumpets. They're always hilarious. There's a little one. Only little boys left in the water now. Splishing and splashing, trying to be as impressive as possible. I always find it how funny how impressed they are with their own splashes. Look, look, I made that. Well, there's an elephant pile now. Ryan is wondering, will the elephant's mothers come down and shout at them for uh, taking so long to rejoin the herd? Uh, the herd's not far away. It's 25, 30 meters from the edge of the... What are you doing? From the edge of the dam, and they're slowly feeding. When they do start moving away, they'll normally just give a rumble, and uh, the boys will listen, or sometimes they get left behind, but they catch up quite quickly. Romit is wondering, do male or female elephants live longer? They actually live about the same age, Romit, so very, very equally lived. Oh, after the hippo, or is it a stick? Oh, he found a stick. I thought I saw something in the water that decided to chase. The hippo has made good its escape, but the hippo was around there a bit earlier. And I think, oh, so full of nonsense. So impressed with their splashes and trumpets. <laughs> what a wonderful, wonderful morning swim. What often happens is now, what the elephants are going to do is go find some nice sand and flick sand over their wet bodies. So let's go move forward a little bit. And uh, I can actually see the dust coming out of the, the bushes where they found some nice soft sand to dust bath with. But also these little boys look like they might be continuing on the rough and, rough and tumble from inside the water. That's exactly what they're doing. The same little group of hooligans. I 
but you can see all the dust from a bit further down the road where the ones who stopped swimming a bit earlier have been flinging dust upon themselves. And now it's time to eat. And they have to eat a huge amount of food every day to sustain those massive bodies. Wow! What an amazing, amazing elephant sighting. But um, I'm going to stick with them a little bit longer, see where they go to next. While I do that, let's go see.